you do a lot of work on parliament and of course this eighth parliament has been an interesting one we've seen the exchange of blows we've seen so many other things in parliament just when we thought it was getting better now this let me first gauge your mood on what has happened over the period especially as we are learning that parliamentary business is suffering to the extent that the first deputy speaker is frustrated Yes, Aisha, thank you very much for having me. I think um, one of the problems of the eighth parliament, I think is what we are witnessing right now, um, that our honorable members from both sides are talking past each other, you know, rather than sit down and forge uh, what has been a key ingredient that has eluded this, this parliament. That is a uh, consensus. You know, Ghanaians imposed a democratic inconvenience on the eighth parliament because over the years, both parties are used to having different sizes in terms of majorities. Then all of a sudden, they are forced to coexist. They are forced to, if you like, into some kind of marriage so that they can do business for our country. But that inconvenience, I think they are finding it very, very difficult to live with. Right from the beginning, you know, most of us realize that if um, we don't look for ways of building consensus, then the opportunities that might come, the blessings that might come with the eighth parliament would end up being a curse. So, our center, CDD, I was, I mean, with uh, Professor Frempe and Dr. Chambers and others, you know, we worked very closely with the leadership of parliament last year, just so that we avoid situations like what we are seeing. Because otherwise, in most democracies, we've seen situations where, you know, parties have 20%, 10%, and so on, and they are forced to coexist and get into the business of negotiation, get into the business of working together, and so on. But it looks like both the NDC and the MPP are used to having their way, you know, over the years, and they have failed to learn how to coexist to the extent that this blessing that would have come with the eighth parliament is slowly eluding us you know